Strictly's Hamza Yassin has opened up about his struggle to find love living in a remote off-grid village, which is inhabited by just 150 people. Strictly fave Hamza Yassin's glitzy on-stage life, which now sees him performing to several million avid viewers per week, couldn't be more different from the tranquil isolation of his home in the minuscule Scottish village of Kilchoan. The wildlife presenter and photographer is all for rugged nature. But admits that the lifestyle and surroundings he chose have never made it easy to fall in love. After taking a holiday to the remote Ardnamurchan Peninsula as a college student, he was so struck by the beautiful location that he resolved to do whatever it took to be able to call it home. In fact, he was so desperate to relocate that by the age of 21, had voluntarily made himself homeless, sleeping in his car and washing his clothes at a local community center. He was even forced to use public toilets at a jetty as he didn't have one of his own, but the zoology student was determined to make his new life work. The TV star made himself indispensable amongst the locals by mowing their lawns and chopping wood for their fireplaces, and in return they gave him the money he needed to top up his petrol tank and buy food. Hamza finally succeeded in snaring his dream job as a wildlife presenter. But there were costs involved in moving 500 miles away from his Northamptonshire home and avidly traveling for work. My job doesn't really allow for a relationship, the hard-working TV presenter and cameraman, who often travels the world to film footage, admitted. How can you sustain a relationship, like, I'm sending you a text message from a satellite phone, because I'm in the Arctic for two months. Meanwhile, back home in his village, he believes he is the only black person in a 150-mile radius. He has to take a five-hour round trip when he wants to buy groceries. Due to the distance of his nearest local shop. When he first moved to the isolated location, he even had to tell his concerned mother not to call him as there was no phone signal in the village. He announced, don't call me, I will call you but now believes he has found his own family amid the rural landscapes of westerly Scotland to curb any loneliness. Yet, despite those challenges, he insists he is currently too busy for romance and wouldn't change his lifestyle for the world.